You have already watched HalTerm's safety video for new employees and understand the basic hazards on this terminal and HalTerm's expectations for safety. This video is designed to further educate you on the specific hazards relating to lashing and unlashing activities. It is very important to understand that this training does not make you a competent lasher. Competency can only be achieved by passing the lashing test provided by the Halifax Employer Association and experience. You will have a mentor assigned to you while you conduct your activities, but your mentor will not always be with you. Therefore, it is essential that you appreciate the hazards of your job, remain vigilant at all times, and be aware of your surroundings. The gangway has already been inspected and passed by a shift manager, but you need to be mindful of your footing. Maintain three-point contact at all times. That means one hand on the railing and two feet on the gangway. In heavy weather, this gangway may move slightly with the vessel. There could be various obstacles in your walking path, such as lashing gear, slightly damaged grating, or just the inherent design of the vessel deck. Surfaces may be slippery with water, ice, or grease. This is why you need to wear a full boot to provide maximum support for your ankles. Crew are constantly moving around the vessel during port calls and may open hatchways, grating covers, or remove safety chains. Always make sure the hatch cover is down before you start work. Not all vessels have edge protection, such as railing or safety chains. The nature of your job requires you to work on the offshore side of the vessel, where there is a risk of falling to the water. Depending on the vessel, there may be railing or chains to minimize the risk of falling over the side, but not all vessels have this safety feature. Lashers are not required to lash when safety railings are not in place. Sometimes twist locks may fall during a container lift. Your hard hat can only protect you from so much force, so never position yourself under a moving load. When unlocking containers, you will be in an overreach position for an extended period of time. This places a strain on your arms, shoulders, neck, and back. It is important to know your limitations. Lashing and unlashing is physically demanding work. Depending on the height of the stack, the unlocking poles can be very long and awkward to handle. Long bars may be heavy too. They can weigh up to 45 pounds each and vary in length. Always make sure that removal of long bars is controlled. Lashing and unlashing between containers can be difficult if the pathway is tight. On the row row, you often have to be bent over in tight spaces. Again, know your personal limitations and watch your body position. Machinery and equipment are always in motion in your work area. This is the reason for wearing high visibility clothing, but you still have to exercise extreme caution. There is a risk that you can be struck by a lashing tool. You must work with your mentor to ensure you understand the correct way to use any tightening device. The cargo is tightly secured to the deck which means that chains, poles, and other securing devices are under a lot of tension. If this tension is not controlled during the release, it could potentially cause harm. Your lashing team works at a steady pace. As cargo becomes unlashed, equipment is put aside for later use. Always be mindful of your body position and the position of those around you. The risks associated with the hazards we just discussed can be minimized by you being aware of your surroundings and asking for help whenever you are unsure of yourself. There are a few other hazards we want you to be aware of. These include noise, climate conditions, pinch points, and confined spaces. Working on a vessel can be noisy. Multiple radios, vessel announcements, warning alarms, and lashing gear striking the deck all expose you to a certain level of noise. Ear protection is available if you need it. Weather in Nova Scotia is finicky. One minute it could be sunny, then suddenly turn to rain or snow. Dress for the weather and consider how adverse climate changes your work environment. You will encounter many pinch points from using lashing equipment and handling locks. Always wear gloves and watch where you place your hands. A confined space is any space that has limited 
or restricted means for entry or exit and is not designed for continuous employee occupancy. You never enter a confined space without permission. When in doubt, ask your mentor. Now that you are aware of the hazards, it is time to take you through the safe work processes for installing locks on containers, unlashing, and lashing cargo. Careful planning by HalTerms operations team has already determined which containers are going to be loaded or unloaded to the vessel. Bay plans have been developed to illustrate where cargo will be discharged and loaded and assist the lashing team with the selection of tools needed for the job. Locks have to be installed in containers prior to loading on the vessel. The yard operator will pull up to the lock station with a container. Working in pairs of two, you will start at the front of the container and work towards the back. To install the lock, you need to first reset it by pulling the cord and allow the lock to disengage. Then you insert it into the container and release. The operator will not move his yard tractor until he has maintained visual contact and has received the safe to proceed signal. When you are required to unlock a container, first, assemble your poles to the length required to reach the applicable container. You'll usually start inshore and move towards offshore, working at a steady pace to stay ahead of the crane movements. Always start at the top tier and work your way across. Twist locks can vary from vessel to vessel. Some have double pull cords and others have single cords. In this demonstration, the lashing pole is used to catch a single cord. Once the cord is hooked, you pull down to release the lock. Remember, the longer the unlocking pole, the more awkward it will be for you to handle. When it is raining, icy, or high winds, the risk of strain injuries is higher. To unfasten the containers from the vessel, place a lashing pin in the turnbuckle and twist to loosen. Then, working in pairs, one of you will finish twisting the turnbuckle while the other holds the long bar and removes it from the container. Remember, there is a risk that you can be struck by your loosening tool. Contact your mentor if you have any doubts as to how to use your equipment properly. To unlash a trailer or other moving equipment, you will use a strong arm to loosen the chains. It is important to know that the lashing assembly is under great tension. There is a high risk of being struck by your tools or the lashing assembly during this task. Your body position and positioning of the strong arm is critical to your safety. Always work in pairs, and when in doubt, ask your mentor for guidance. Basically, lashing containers is the reverse of unlashing. Working in pairs, you assemble the turnbuckle to the lashing rod, tighten by hand, and use the tightening device to further secure. Once the containers are landed on each other, the twist locks that were installed at the lock station will automatically be engaged to secure the containers together. To lash trailers and other moving equipment to the deck, you attach steel chains to a hook and then the securing point on the deck. Using a strong arm, tighten the chains. Again, you are applying a lot of tension to this assembly to ensure it is properly secured to the deck. Be very careful. Your safety is very important to HALTERM. It is critical to report defects such as damaged locks, broken lashing poles, and defective securing points to the foreman. If you spot damages to customer property, report it immediately. Lashing and unlashing activities may be challenging work, but that doesn't mean that you should accept injury as an inherent risk. We want you to go home the same way you arrived. Thank you for watching these safety instructions and have a safe day.